Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'm bringing those daily crypto news articles. This one comes from the Bitcoinist, and it is how scammers used coin market cap to carry out crypto schemes. So again, scammers are out there trying to steal your money. I think yesterday I posted on Treasure's phishing scam or scandal. Now we got coin market cap. So you really got to be on top of it, people, and be aware of how to spot these scammers and phishing attacks. But let's go over and see how these guys went through coin market cap and Maybe we can learn how to avoid situations like these so we do not lose any of our coins. <clears throat> Here we go. So scams happen all the time in the crypto space, but recently <clears throat> the scammers have had to go through more sophisticated channels to make their scams more believable since more people are aware of how the more popular scams are carried out. This was a case in a recent crypto scheme that saw coin market cap involved through what is presumed to be a hack. The report shows how these hackers, who have made away with more than $100,000 and did it. So CoinMarketCap hacked. On Sunday, April 3rd, smart contract audit company HashX had noticed an intricate scheme to part crypto users from their money. These scammers had seemingly hacked CoinMarketCap's crypto town or Cryptown social network, gaining access to the admin where they had proceeded to create a number of copycat verified Mark Coin Market Cap accounts. With these accounts, the scammers had begun posting that they were doing a token sell. One of these copycat accounts appeared to be the official Coin Market Cap account on Cryptown, which had also posted about the token sell, the official Coin Market Coin pre sale. The distinctive thing about the scam is that the comments about the token sell were made from CoinMarketCap's official verified account, noted Dmitry Mishunin, founder and CEO of HashX, who notified Bitcoinists of the scheme. <clears throat> so here it is. You can see like in the little section, like they tweeted out or they commented in it saying official CoinMarketCap pre-sell, like you would not want to click on those links at all. Uh, the link uh, on the fake coin market cap account had led to a fake landing page connected to the scheme. The advertised tokens were being sold on both the Binance and Ethereum blockchains. And an important fact to note is that the scammers had put up this page during the night, coinciding with European time, which means that users in the region did not quickly understand what was going on at this time. So here's where like the link took you to. Uh, by the time Bitcoinists had this report, the scammers had already been able to raise more than 8 Ethereum and over 158 BNB tokens. On Monday morning, this number had grown to over 12.7 Ethereum and 192.56 BNB. The Ethereum address had already been marked as a scam on Etherscan. Both addresses remain active as deposits continue to trickle in. Now, how can you avoid these scams? These cryptos can be obvious at times, but sometimes they are more sophisticated and go through channels like the CoinMarketCap hacked account, which commands a lot of respect in the space. However, the rule still remains, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. In this case of the CoinMarketCap scam, Mishunin notes that intruders offered to just send money to some third-party addresses. This is often a telltale sign of a scam, especially when they ask to send crypto to an address and they will send some crypto back. It is unlikely that such a large company would conduct a sale without a smart contract and connecting a wallet on the site. The hashtag CEO added, crypto scams have continued to ramp up and become more sophisticated. The Bitcoinist reported in March that Kenyans had lost $120 million to crypto scammers last year alone. Cryptocurrency scams grew by 81% in 2021 and are expected to rise in the new year. So yeah, as crypto becomes more and more popular, like scammers are going to get more and more, uh, what is the, what's that word I'm trying to think of, elusive and more cunning. Like they're going to try to get you your money the most sophisticated way possible because they're understanding like, yeah, people like me trying to report news articles like this to help show like what a scammer looks like, what they're doing. And I'm just trying to show you ways to avoid it because if you understand how they do it, you know not to do it. So like never click on any links sent to you unless you really know who it's from. Like, because again, they hacked one of the coin market caps. Like you may think, oh, this is from the original page. Never do that. Usually with like an application, like on the treasure wallet, yesterday's attack, they emailed you, looked so sophisticated, and took you to a link to download like an upgrade, but you never really will ever have to download an upgrade through an email link. Like the wallet itself 
on your laptop will just say your wallet needs to be upgraded. So that's how you would do it. Never go through an email link to upgrade your wallet. Just, yeah, that's one way. But yeah, just avoid links at all. If you see a link from sent from somebody, just be cautious and aware. Because again, I hate people losing money because once someone usually gets hacked, there's mostly nothing else you can do. It's the it's been done. It can't be recovered at that point. I think I had an email earlier today. Someone had their treasure hack and I haven't emailed back to them yet. But I want to know if it's because of the phishing scam where they took them to the treasure.us link and then they downloaded it and then they were pretty much corrupted at that point. So I'm very sorry for that person, but there's nothing really else you can do. Just keep yourself educated so you don't make those same mistakes. Oh, so I hate articles like this. I hate when people lose money again. It, I really feel for the people because it's not a good feeling. It is not. It's the pit of your gut. And so, so people, I hope you're aware, aware out there that there are scammers out there. I hope you got some knowledge from this video so that way you can, it can help you avoid situations like these. And yeah, so yeah, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss a beat. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.